Hi, this is Marcus Egger with EPS and Code Consulting. This is a very brief video showing some WPF and Silverlight styling techniques. Uh, a lot of these things have grown out of either tech demos or actual customer work, uh, but have developed into something that's much more uh, been shown at a lot of user groups, conferences, and has kind of developed into case studies uh, and exploratory and, and explanatory tools for showing what actually can be done with styling in WPF and Silverlight and why it is something that's so important for business applications and not necessarily for consumer applications, although it's uh, uh, useful there as well. So let me show you a few examples real quick. Uh, the first one is an example that we did for a customer of ours and this customer uh, had a WPF application that used just default styles and they came to us and said, hey, we know how to build WPF applications, but we want you to help us, A, be more productive, and B, make our application look more like our overall corporate identity and corporate strategy. So what they gave us is an app that I can't show here, but I have a little test bench app, uh, so this is all nonsensical data, but it shows some of the controls and some of the different styles and paradigms we used. So what we started out with looked very similar to what you see here. Uh, and uh, this app had a few characteristics, uh, had tons of areas like uh, this area here at the top that had a lot of label control, label control type of things. Uh, it also had a ton of different tab controls and tab controls within tab controls. And then uh, it had a lot of grids, like the grids you see here, and once again lots and lots of tab controls. Uh, so that was kind of the characteristic of this application and what we went and did is we built something that looked kind of like this. This is not the most beautiful application you'll ever see here, uh, but I think it serves uh, the purpose of demonstrating some of the styling stuff very well. So as you see, as I'm switching into the style here, first of all, we noticed that we have a big visual difference. So that was one of the things our art department did is they came up uh, with a style that looked very similar to this company's corporate identity, uh, same colors, same overall style. See how we styled. Uh, the toolbar and, and and menu bar very different uh, has a logo in this case our logo sidebars all look different they're all fairly polished uh, have a lot of animations and that sort of stuff uh, which uh, you know typical WPF application or same thing applies of course for Silverlight application now where it gets a little more interesting functionality wise is when we look at this area up here that you saw before that had all these label text box label text box, text box typical data entry type of app you can now see that this uh, system here is very different in, in how it looks. For instance, every text box has one rounded, one pointed corner. That's part of the overall corporate identity there. Uh, we changed some things such as read-only controls because there was a lot of read-only controls that got set once and then couldn't be changed anymore. So we wanted to have them white to increase the readability of those types of controls. But most importantly, what we did in this area here is we recognized that this sort of layout occurs over and over and over again. So we made it as simple as possible by just making people put uh, controls with captions or containers that contain multiple controls with captions into this overall area here at the top. And uh, without, with complete disregard to the actual layout of that element. So developers can just add controls very, very fast, just data bind, that's all they do, and then the skin and the style picks that up and produces the actual layout for this. Now this is actually something uh, that I've written an article about. You can read about it on Code Magazine, uh, in Code Magazine as well as the Code Magazine website, codemag.com. Just look for XAML uh, productivity and you'll find an article in Code Samples as to how to do that because this is the most generic, most maintainable, fastest, most productive, highest quality way to build user interfaces in WPF. Another interesting example here is how we restyled all these tab controls to be closer to the corporate identity. Uh, we have grids like this that we changed a little bit in style. Uh, we have grids with level of detail that we changed in style. So as somebody goes in here and selects one of these, uh, we can uh, go and expand the current record or expand all records. Uh, and as people move through, and select different records, you'll see that they expand and collapse and it's all animated and so forth. So very nice, uh, high quality visuals. And the cool thing is, this is not just easy to develop, but we actually made it easier than it was before without these uh, enhanced visuals because people 
needed the, or developers took a lot of time to build things like uh, this sort of one to many or, or, or master detail type of grid while we just made it very very simple with similar layout techniques as described in this article to do that sort of stuff. And then finally one of the most interesting areas I think is this area down here where we had in the old skin all the tabs just to switch back to the classic skin one more time to show you the tabs. This area down here is what we're talking about now, just tabs after tabs after tabs. Well, the application needed that sort of thing, but the interesting part was a lot of screen had gazillions of these tabs, but only four or five or so were of interest for each record, but each record needed different ones, or each user needed different ones, so we couldn't get rid of it. Uh, but we also realized that in some of these records we always want to see info from these four tabs and we wanted to enable that. So as you can see down here this is a restyled version of this tab control and what this allows us to do is look it allows us to look at multiple pages at once. Then we can actually go and say you know we also want to look at this and then you see a nice animation come in hope that uh, it's gonna look good on the video uh, where I can say no I don't need that I collapse it and I don't need that I collapse it too and as you see as this stuff collapses you'll note that over here in the collapsed areas we actually have a level of detail so for instance imagine one of these tabs is maybe a profit and loss sheet well maybe when it's collapsed it just shows total profit or total loss when it is tiled as we call it maybe then it shows uh, summaries of different categories of items and the total profit and loss. And then on top of it we allow uh, to zoom in on just a single one of these and then it could expand and show absolutely everything uh, and including all the details or whatever the desire might be. So this is a fairly advanced UI. Right? When you look at this UI you say, oh wow this is, this is pretty cool. I wonder how much effort it was to actually build that. Well the cool news is that this took practically no effort at all. This was simply a restyled tab control. And as we all know, creating tab controls is very, very simple in, in just about any environment these days, including WPF. So having this kind of tab control restyled as something like this allows us to super productively create this stuff uh, and, and then make it look anything we want and provide these really advanced features and looks. So that is a WPF application. The other application I would like to show is a Silverlight application. This Silverlight app is also completely restyled from the default controls and uh, this is a simple sample app that shows some uh, ice hockey teams in this case. And you just go around and pick different teams and you can see uh, the actual player of those teams show up. And you saw a nice animation there, you can also do a search and we'll see that animation again. Uh, so basically what's happening here is this is about the most trivial of applications you'll ever see because if you look at the SAML of this then all you see is two list boxes. This whole screen is two list boxes. It then is styled with a background image. It is also styled so each individual list box looks different. So this logo here or this header here or this background header here and so forth, these graphical elements are all just a styled list box. So just a list box control that happens to look like this. And then of course the individual elements within the list box are also styled. So the semi-transparent dark background or this animation when the list box gets populated, all of that is just in the style. Uh, and so is the skew, as you may notice, uh, this whole UI is slightly slanted to the right, uh, just to show the freedom you have in Silverlight, and it's an artistic choice that I think happens to look pretty good. Uh, it's an interesting example of something that you can try to reproduce in, say, HTML or some other technology other than WPF or Silverlight, and you'll realize that this is really very difficult to do. Uh, and here it was just, uh, uh, you know, not even a line of code, an attribute somewhere. Uh, very, very simple and straightforward to do. And uh, you know, we can now go in here and we can pop up dialogues and do all kinds of other things. Uh, and they all pick up this nice styling here, the buttons and so forth. And it works really well. So if I go in here and, and start editing, you know, we have data binding goes down here and it's just, you know, the styles are picking that up. Uh, just a very, very simple and super productive environment to build in. Uh, so that's also an application that's available as a sample for download and of course all this stuff that I've shown here uh, is an example of uh, what you can A, learn about by going to codemagazine.com and reading about some of this and in our WPF and Silverlight training sessions, uh, especially in the sessions around styling but also in other sessions just building business apps in general because this is most useful for business applications. Um, 
you can learn about all this stuff by attending one of our training events either online or uh, right at our offices or we can come to your house your office and uh, do a presentation about this stuff with the exact uh, topics that you would like to hear about so long story short this is super productive super high quality super high performance very very easy to maintain and reuse and thus uh, as we believe one of the better ways to build advanced business applications these days and that's why we believe styling is so important for business apps and maybe more important than it even is for consumer applications.